Next question is from Connor Flynn. We often talk a lot about people not having enough mobility, but what if you have the opposite problem and your joints are actually hypermobile? How do you correct this issue? I always feel I feel like we get this exact same question like once every about three or four three months. Three or four months, yeah. When we're talking about mobility, 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 yeah. there's always somebody who's hypermobile. Yeah, uh, that ends up asking. They can this get question. in these positions super easy, but uh, yeah, might not feel as stable uh, as we'd like. So that's, that's it. That's it right there. I, I want to change the terminology here. So when we talk about mobility, what we're talking about is not just your ability to get to do a full range of motion. But it's to do their full range of motion, have control, strength, and stability within it. Mm -hmm. When we talk about mobility, that's what we're referring to. Yeah, this person thinks is confusing it with flexibility. Well, not no instability. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. when this person has long ranges of motion, so they're able, they're super flexible, and they also have no strength or stability. So they're so hypermobile in this sense. What they're trying, what they're communicating is instability with long ranges of motion. I've worked with clients like this, yeah. and it's a totally different challenge. Oh, yeah. Now, the, the key with this is to increase your strength and not go to your end ranges of motion because you have such bad stability. So if I have someone like this who's got this hypeless long range of motion, they're unstable, I'm not going to have them do ass to grass squats. Even though they could sit down there, they're so unstable, they're going to hurt themselves. I'll actually have this person will put weight on their back um, that they can control, and I'll have them stop just below 90 degrees, hold it for a second, and then come back up. Mm -hmm. Try and build strength in a shorter range of motion. Once I feel strong and stable in that range of motion, then I lengthen it, and then I lengthen it. And over time, now they're doing their full range of motion with strength. Yeah, this is where, I mean, I've had some clients like this, some gymnastic uh, you know, clients that have come in with like hypermobility and um, what we focus on the most is is really being able to access this muscular tension to be able to really ramp that up and uh, you know with isometrics or with like kin stretch type movements where you know it, it'll it'll challenge it'll basically put you in some of these extreme kind of ranges of motion. But now how do you get out of that? How do you, how can you um, you know squeeze and, and connect to the muscle to to gather the strength to be able to really stabilize around the joint and feel like you know you have that strength and control. Um, and, and so the, just, just gradually sort of taking them through different angles, uh, you know, with their joints, but making sure that we're really irradiating, we're getting a lot of this, uh, you know, muscle tension to respond, uh, and then start to load, but really having to make sure that the, you know, the joints feel like they're stabilized and secure, uh, before they, they really go through that. Now, is this an area where you guys would agree that you see value in some instability training, right? Where you have somebody who may be on foam pads that are going in a deep or dyna disc and are squatting really deep on on these on unstable uh, environment environment or tools in order to get them to build a little bit depends of depends how bad the stability yeah. is. I, I actually I worked with this lady who she what she had no background in dance, she had no background in stretching. She was just born this way, and she was also very weak. That's by the way, strength is the solution to this problem. So she was weak but super flexible. And her stability was so bad that if I put her in a deep squat, I mean, I, I felt like if I pushed her the wrong way, her joint would have come out of socket, right? So yeah. with her, it was short ranges of motion yeah. and strength and, and stable. We had to be stable because she had such poor – she was so weak that if we did anything on an unstable surface – it was like an injury. Mm -hmm. She was like a, like a like a noodle, right? Like yeah, a baby yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Like in fact, in fact, that's a good example. Babies are are have long ranges of motion, no strength. Like if you ever take a baby's feet, put it by their head, move them around, like super flexible, super obviously no stability. If you if a baby tried to support any weight, they would yeah. obviously injure themselves. Yeah, little gumbies. Yeah. So this is so strength. Strength is get strong, but don't use your full range of motion. You have you don't have enough strength to support full ranges of motion, and you're asking for problems. So this is one of the few cases I would say, limit your range of motion, get strong in that short range of motion, then when you feel strong in that short range of motion, now extend it like a yeah, couple more inches. Take it incrementally. That's I, it. I, you guys mentioned gymnasts. I actually, so I trained quite a few people like this, but it was all, you know who it was for me were like your hardcore yoga people. Yes. Oh, if you were, if you, I got quite a few that were, you know, they just love yoga. They've done yoga their whole life, mm -hmm. but never strength trained before. So they were like super flexible but they had no strength and control when I take them through like a squat or a lunge or a basic exercise. So that's where I found it more common. I, those were the clients that I think ended up having that. Totally. You see a lot of mm -hmm. hip, uh, a lot of hip problems in those types of practitioners. Now yeah. I'll argue that proper yoga, you, when you do it properly, it actually will increase your stability with the ranges of motion. But the way that sometimes people do yoga here, especially in America, 
is they do these yin classes where they sit in these long static stretches or they get in poses and mm-hmm. they allow their joints to support them rather than yeah they active. relax yeah. and it's more the meditative. goal is for them to get to a range of motion not to you know increase their strength throughout the range of yeah because if you take a yoga like from a really good instructor they'll tell you like when you get in a pose they'll say draw your energy in or push out what they literally mean is activate your muscles don't just let your joints support you because yeah. if you do that you get flexible yeah but then you have no strength and you end up developing uh instability